Hey guys and welcome to Yak Wax Lips. My name is Michael, your point and click adventurer and this is Trailer Talk, the show where I'm going to be looking at a bunch of adventure game trailers, talking about news and seeing what's going on in the adventure game world. If you love adventure games as much as I do, then make sure that you head down there, point and click on the like button, the subscribe button and the little bell as well so you don't miss any more of my adventure game videos. Right, we've got a lot to get through today so we're going to dive straight into this brand new trailer. This is set just a couple of weeks before the original Simon the Sorcerer. Taking the game at face value, it looks pretty fun. It looks like it's a classic point and click game, it's nice and bright, and oh yeah, I'm quite looking forward to this. The studio responsible for this small thing studio, as far as I can tell, haven't ever made a point and click adventure game before, so I am a little um, wary on that, but we're all going to find out next year. It's due out in March 2023. Let me know in the comments below if you're excited about Simon the Sorcerer Origins. Right, let's get on to our second trailer. If you're looking for adventure, you will find it in Voodoo Detective. There's no case he won't take. I can offer you a $200 advance plus expenses. For that kind of cabbage, I'd voodoo investigate most anything. No mystery he won't investigate. Dining alone? Who did you say you were again? No crime he can't solve. I'm on to you, Crumsford. You can't hide from justice. How did you get into my office? And now he takes on his most puzzling point-and-click adventure yet. A mysterious client with an unforgettable case of amnesia. You lost your memory, huh? Did you check the couch cushions? There's action. Romance. Hoodoo. And more? Starring Voodoo Detective in Voodoo Detective. Available May 24th. Yes, I mentioned this just a couple of weeks ago. Voodoo Detective. The previous trailer I showed was just Voodoo Detective walking around, not showing anything. But this shows everything. This game is already out and I have played it from front to back and it is a really good fun. I'll have my full review out pretty much any day now, so make sure you go and watch that as well. But from my point of view, it's got classic uh, point and click action. The art style is really, really striking. It's got people like Peter McConnell involved, who obviously did the score for a load of LucasArts adventure games. Grim Fandango being my favorite of all time. And some really solid, solid voice acting. The story is good fun. And anyway, this is going to go into my full review. So I'm just going to say that is out right now. It's from Short Sleeve Studio. It's only available on uh, Windows and Mac at the minute. So maybe a Switch version will be coming soon. Who knows? And now we have a chunk of adventure game news, mainly to do with Kickstarter. So let's dive straight into that. This first game only has a couple of days left, and I've not actually mentioned it on the trailer before. I talk about it quite a lot over on Twitter, though, so make sure that you follow me on Twitter. This is unfortunately Ninja. It looks like it's a classic uh, point and click adventure games with the verbs and everything, pixel art. Again, ticks all my boxes. Um, they're asking for 25,000 euros i think it was um and they're, they're almost there but like i say just a couple of days left so if you can get them over the line that'll be cool 
a game that I've mentioned a few times on this channel is A Twisted Tale. I did a full playthrough of the demo. You can go and watch that over here. Um, yeah, so they have their Kickstarter launching on June the 7th. And it's actually penciled in for September the 1st. So whether it's going to come out then or not sure. But the Kickstarter is June the 7th. And so, again, I'll leave all the links down below so you can go and check that out for yourself. Another game that I've featured on the channel before, and this is Monorail Stories. Now, this is just a, a fairly small Kickstarter. There's about 5,000 euros, I think. They're about halfway through, um, and they are a bit halfway through their target as well. So about two, two and a half weeks left. So if you guys like the look of this one, um, go ahead and support that as well. And we'll say I did play the demo of this as well, and it was really good fun. I'm looking forward to this one. And finally, another Kickstarter, which is just about to be released, is Casebook 1899, The Leipzig Murders. And the Kickstarter is due May 31st, so a couple of days now from when this video is released. And I did actually speak to Gregor Muller on my brand new podcast, The Point and Click Adventurers, along with Turian Shepherd. You can check out uh, the, that episode um, right here, actually. That comes out on the same day. So make sure that you go and watch me talk to Gregor about the Kickstarter and about the game. Again, you can get that demo already. All the links will be down below in the description for you to go and support these guys. And some successful Kickstarter news is Surviving the Humans has finally crossed the line and become fully funded. So if you like the look of that game, I did feature it previously here on Trailer Talk. And again, I did a full Let's Play of the um, of the demo. If you like the look of that, you can go down there and um, wishlist it, all that kind of stuff. That will be coming out soon because it's successful. So well done, guys. So that is Kickstarter news out of the way. There's a hell of a lot to get through today. Fans of Lamplight City rejoice because it's heading to the Switch. That's right, the port will be coming over on June the 2nd. So again, any day now. So if you enjoyed Lamplight City and want it on the Switch, go and get it. If you haven't played it, it's been one of my favourite games of the past couple of years. So go and have a look on the Switch or on Steam or wherever you can get it. But yes, it's heading towards the Switch. And here's some release date news for some games that I've featured previously on the channel. Um, June the 16th sees the arrival of Nightmare Frames from Postmodern Adventures. The adventure, the demo for this I played last year. It's high on my wish list, and I'm really excited to play this one. And let's go over some games that have already been released that I've featured on this channel already. This was released just a couple of weeks ago. You can get it from GOG, from Epic Games, and from Steam. <laughs> Old Town of Vilnius. Worth the visit. I've played the full game and there's a review right there for you. No spoilers, but it was brilliant. A game I spoke about just a couple of weeks ago, best month ever, is now fully released. You promised to teach me how to fish, but why not you just didn't come home to work? You can get this over on the Switch, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Windows. I'm Louise Connor's son. And finally, news of a game which was successfully kickstarted a year ago, maybe even two years ago. In fact, it featured on my Games of 2021 coming soon video. And it's now middle of 22, but it is finally here. And that is Freud's Bones, and you can get that right now. Psychotics, neurotics, perverts. In the tar labyrinth of my unconscious, I was sure I could get oriented. I was the master of my I was able to control my compulsions. Each disease has roots, and I knew exactly how to find them. I knew how to remove the pain. Until... I arrived. Just a couple more trailers to end with then. Last time on Trailer Talk, I showed you the Brian Scott trailer. It wasn't really a trailer. It was more kind of like a character introduction thing. But they have released their full English trailer. So let's take a look at the adventures of Brian Scott. Radio Silence Studios present a new point-and-click masterpiece inspired by Broken Sword and Deponia. The Adventures of Brian Scott. Discover everything about the development of the game and accompany Brian Scott on his journey into a daring adventure full of puzzles and dark secrets. And to finish, here is something completely different from Fireshine Games. This is out this week. This is called Silt.
How did that last one make you feel? It made me feel quite tense and claustrophobic, but excited. I really like the look of that one. That is coming out uh, on the Switch, the Xbox, PlayStation 5, and, and Windows. So th that should be out pretty much any day now. Before I leave you, I'd like to say thank you for those who have tuned in to my brand new podcast that I am doing along with fellow adventure game uh, fan, Turian Shepherd. We release adventure game videos every uh, other Monday, so fortnightly videos, and we talk about adventure games, what's going on in the news. It's basically a longer form version of what this is uh, where we talk about it and and then we get a guest on so if you're excited about adventure games make sure that you go and um, and check that out and leave a like on this video hit subscribe and let me know about the games that you're most excited about i have also last bit of news i promise uh, relaunched my patreon so if you super duper enjoy my content and want your name at the end of the credits or just extra perks or just want to support me because you like adventure games then uh, head on to my brand new patreon and check it out there so thanks very much guys for watching have a wonderful morning afternoon or evening whatever it is you're doing right now take care